hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to make this very cute little lion so what you're gonna need is you're gonna need three kinds of yarn we have the main color the color for the hair and the one for the muzzle so I use this kind of yarn it's a hundred percent acrylic yarn and it's kind of the thin yarn and also I used a crochet hook uh, which is 2.5 millimeters okay so let's get started okay so we're going to start with the legs moving up to the body and we're going to start first to the magic ring and then six single crochets into the magic ring so we're going to do one two three four five six okay so after that in the second row we are going to increase every stitch all the way around for a total of 12 stitches okay so we're going to start by doing by increasing the first stitch so you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch Okay, and then we're going to continue increasing. Okay, increase in the other stitch too. Okay, so you're going to continue increasing until you get here where the marker is. Okay, so now after that, in the third row, we are going to do single crochet, then increase, and then repeat all the way around for a total of 18 stitches okay so we're going to do single crochet one and increase in the next stitch and then we're going to keep repeating that so single crochet increase okay single crochet increase Okay, so repeat that all the way round. Okay, so after that, now in our fourth row, we are going to do single crochet in the next two stitches, then increase and repeat all the way around for a total of 24 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet, one, single crochet, two, then increase in the next stitch. And then you're going to keep repeating that so two single crochet one two and increase okay two single crochet and increase okay so repeat that all the way to the end okay so after that now in our fifth row we are going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 24 stitches so we're going to do single crochet single crochet single crochet single crochet Okay, so do, do single crochet all the way to the end. Okay, so after that, now in our sixth row, we're going to start by decreasing two times. Okay, so we're going to go in the uh, front loop of the next stitch, pull through, and the back loop of the next stitch, pull through, and pull through all the three loops together. So that's one decrease. And then we're going to decrease again one more time okay and then after that we are going to do single crochet in the next six stitches okay so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five 
and six okay and then after that we're going to decrease again four times so we're going to decrease one two three and four four times okay so after that in the remaining six stitches you're going to do single crochet all the way to the end so we're going to have a total of 18 stitches okay so do single crochet single crochet all the way to the end okay so now in our seventh row we are going to start first by decreasing one time so we're going to decrease okay and then we are going to do single crochet in the next five stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four and five okay and then after that we are going to decrease again three times so we're going to decrease one time decrease again two times and decrease again one more time Okay, and then after that in the remaining five stitches you're going to do single crochet all the way to the end for a total of 14 stitches okay so now in our eighth round we're going to start by doing single crochet in the first five stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four and five okay and then after that we're going to decrease two times okay so we're going to decrease the first time and decrease again the second time Okay, and then after that uh, in the remaining five stitches we are going to do single crochet to the end for a total of 12 stitches okay so now for the next uh, three rows we are going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 12 stitches in each row okay so you're going to do single crochet single crochet single crochet so do this all the way around until the end of this so this is the ninth row so do single crochet until you get to the 11th row and then we'll start the 12th row together okay so guys after the 11th row this is how it looks like so now in the 12th row uh, we're going to start by doing five single crochet then increase and repeat that we're going to do that two times for a total of 14 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five and then increase Okay, and then you're going to repeat that again one more time so five single crochet and increase at the end okay so after you're done with that now in the 13th row we're going to do six single crochets then increase and do that two times okay so we'll have a total of um, 16 stitches okay so we're going to do single crochet one two three four 
four, five, six, and then increase in the next stitch. Okay, and then you're going to repeat that one more time. So six single crochet, then increase at the end. Okay, so now after you're done with that, now in our 14th row, which is the last row of the leg, we're going to do single crochet all the way to the end. Okay, so we're going to do single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. Okay, so do single crochet all the way to the end. Okay, so after you're done with that, you're going, you're just going to cut off your yarn, and then after that, you're going to make the second leg, and then when you finish the second leg, don't cut off the yarn because we're going to join the two legs together. Okay, so finish up the other leg, then I'll show you how to join the two legs together. Okay, so now we are going to join the two legs together, and first, uh, what I did in this leg is I did six more stitches. So from where you left. You do six more stitches until you get here at the side so that um, I'll join it together like this or I look good together. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to do a chain two. So I'll do chain one, two. And then I'm going to take my other leg and I'm going to slip stitch where I left off. Okay, so that's how it's supposed to look like. Okay, and then after that, I'm just going to take my marker and put it over there. And from there, I'll do single crochet all the way around in the first leg. So we'll have a total of 16 stitches on this leg. And then single crochet over here and on the other leg. Okay, so I'll just show you uh, what I mean. So I'll start by doing single crochet. Single crochet, single crochet. Okay, so continue doing single crochet until you get here to the chain two uh, where we joined and then I'll show you how to do the stitches over here. Okay, so now after we get here where we joined with a chain two, uh, we're going to go in the first chain on this side that we are on. Okay, so I'm going to do a single crochet in the first chain. Okay, and in the second chain also, I'm going to do a single crochet. Okay, and then after that, I'm just going to continue uh, to the other side and continue doing single crochet on the other side of the leg. Single crochet, single crochet. Okay, so continue until you get again here where we joined the chain two. Okay, so guys, when you get again here where we joined the chain two, you're going to go into the first chain and do a single crochet and then also in the second chain also do a single crochet okay and then after that remember where we slipped stitch okay so that's where we started so after that uh, we're just going to start doing the second row okay so now we have a total of 36 stitches okay so now we're going to continue to the other side or to the round two of the body and in the round two we are going to start by doing single crochet in the first leg until we get here where we joined again okay so we're going to start by doing single crochet
and then continue do single crochet okay so continue doing single crochet all the way until you finish this leg until you get here where we, we join to the chain two okay so after you get here at the end also uh, you're going to also continue doing single crochet all the way around okay so you're going to still do single crochet single crochet single crochet so the same way you do the normal single crochet so I just wanted to show you how to do single crochet here where we joined as you can see this is how it looks like so make sure yours doesn't have a gap too over here okay so you're going to continue doing single crochet all the way around until you have two stitches left here until the end of the row okay so as you can see we have two stitches left to the end of the row so we are going to increase each stitch until the end so we're going to increase okay okay and also increase the last stitch okay so now we have a total of uh, 38 stitches okay so now in our third round we are going to start first by increasing the first stitch so we're going to increase okay and then after that we're going to do single crochet in the next 32 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five six so count until you have 32 single crochets okay so after you count to 32 stitches or 32 single crochets you have five stitches left and uh, in the next stitch we are going to increase and then for the remaining four stitches we're going to do single crochet to the end Okay, so single crochet okay so we have a total of 40 stitches okay so after you're done with that now for the next five rows which is row four until row eight we're going to do single crochet all the way around in each row for a total of 40 stitches in each row okay so do single crochets for the next five rows and then i'll see when you're done with the eighth row so that we set the ninth row together okay so now after you're done with the eighth row this is how it should look like so now I'm, we're going to start on the ninth row and uh in our ninth row we're going to start by doing a single crochet in the next eight stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five six seven and eight okay so after the eight single crochets we're going to decrease one time okay and then we're going to do single crochet in the next 17 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five okay so continue until you have 17 single crochets 
Okay, so after the 17 single crochets, we are going to decrease again one time. So decrease. Okay, and then after that, we are going to do single crochet in the remaining 11 stitches. So we're going to continue and do single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. So do single crochet all the way to the end. So we have a total of 38 stitches. Okay, so after that, uh, in the round 10, we're going to start by doing single crochet in the first eight stitches. So we're going to do single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight okay and then after that we are going to decrease one time okay and then we're going to do single crochet in the next 15 stitches so we're going to do a single crochet one two three Four, and continue until you have 15 single crochets okay so after that we're going again to decrease one time okay and then we'll do single crochet all the way through in the remaining 11 stitches so we'll have a total of 36 stitches okay so you continue and do single crochet single crochet single crochet and continue all the way to the end okay so after that now in our 11th row uh, we're going to do single crochet all the way around until we have two stitches left here at the end okay so you're going to do single crochet single crochet okay so continue all the way until you have two stitches left here at the end. Okay, so after we get to the end, the two stitches remaining, we are going to do a decrease. Okay, so we have a total of 35 stitches. Okay, so now in the 12th round, we are also going to do the same thing as the, as the previous row. So we're going to do single crochet all the way around and a decrease at the end. So we'll have a total of 34 stitches. So we're going to continue and do single crochet, single crochet, single crochet. And we continue all the way to the end until we have two stitches left here at the end. Okay, so when you get to the end of the row, we are going to do a decrease. Okay, so when you're done with that, now we're going to start with the 13th row. And in the 13th row, we are going to start by doing seven single crochets. So we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we are going to decrease one time. Okay, and then after that, we to do single crochet in the next 15 stitches. Okay, so after the 15 stitches, we are going to decrease one time. And then for the remaining 8 stitches, we are going to do single crochet all the way. So we have a total of 32 stitches. Okay, so we're going to continue and do single crochet, single crochet. Okay, and continue all the way to the end. Okay, so after that now, in our 14th row, we are going to do single crochet all the way around to the end for a total of 32 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet, single crochet. 
okay and continue all the way to the end okay so now in our 15th row uh, we're going to start by doing single crochet in the first seven stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five six and seven okay and then after that we're going to decrease one time okay and then we're going to do single crochet in the next 14 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three okay so continue until you have 14 single crochets Okay, so after the 14 single crochets, we are going to decrease again one time. Okay, and then we are going to do single crochet for the remaining 7 stitches. So we'll have a total of 30 stitches. So we continue and do single crochet, single crochet all the way to the end. Okay, so now in our 16th row, uh, we're going to start by doing single crochet in the first seven stitches. So we're going to do single crochet one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Okay, and then after that, we are going to decrease one time okay and then we'll do single crochet in the next 12 stitches so we'll do single crochet one two three four and continue until you have 12 single crochets Okay, so after the 12 single crochets, we are going to decrease again one time. Okay, and then we'll do single crochet in the remaining 7 stitches. So we'll have a total of 28 stitches. Okay, so we continue and do single crochet all the way to the end. Okay, so after you get to the end now in our 17th row we are going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 28 stitches so we're going to do single crochet single crochet single crochet okay and continue all the way to the end okay so after that now in our 28th I mean in our 18th row uh, we're going to do five single crochets then decrease and repeat four times for a total of 24 stitches so we're going to do single crochet one two three four five and then decrease And then we're going to keep repeating that so five single crochets one two three four five and then decrease okay so keep repeating that all the way to the end okay so after that now in our 19th row uh, we're going to do single crochet all the way around for a total of 24 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet. Single crochet. 
okay so continue like that all the way to the end okay so after that now in our 20th row uh, we're going to do four single crochet then decrease and repeat all around for a total of 20 stitches okay so we'll do single crochet one two three four and then decrease and then we're going to keep repeating that so for a single crochet two three four and decrease Okay, so repeat that all the way to the end. Okay, so after that in our 21st row, which is the last row of our body, we are going to do single crochet in the next three stitches, then decrease and repeat all around, total of 16 stitches. So we're going to do single crochet, one, two, two three and then decrease okay and then you're going to keep repeating that all the way to the end okay so after you get to the end since it's our it's our last row uh, last row we're going to go to the next stitch and then we're going to slip stitch then like that so i already have a yarn left long long enough for sewing the head so that's how it's gonna look like so and then after that we're going to start making the head 